that um, being a person of color in business, like there's certain challenges that come along with that. So I wanted to find out from you guys, like what kind of challenges have that have you experienced and how have you overcome those challenges? Um, so the biggest challenge I'd say as as an African and black guy starting a business and stuff is is nobody nobody really ever wants to pay the actual value of what you're worth. That's the biggest problem we've ever run to where you know the value of this thing and it's gonna give us actually way more. But because of um there there is I think all all, all it knows, like I have this thing. If somebody calls me brother and it's a client, I don't wanna deal with it because I already I've got PTSD. <laughs> brother comrade anything along those lines i'm like hey, you know what i mean so it, it's it's literally because i know where the conversation leads you know what i mean the conversation is going to lead to oh here's this project okay cool here's the costing of the project and it's like oh, go lower come on look out for blue and like, dude i can't deal with that so i would say the way we we've managed to deal with it is we we stand our ground if the price that's the price that's the price that's the value we stand our ground and we don't go lower for for no reason like it has to be worth our time and effort to do this thing and another thing i would say is, and it's another thing a lot of people won't tell you as a small business is sometimes you have to let go of certain clients they don't fit the type of clients you're trying to go for you've got to learn to to not take them on or if you have them fire them because there are some clients that are gonna they're gonna they're gonna do they'll make you do the work with fifty thousand rand and they'll only pay you seven and now you're tired we could use that effort to do something else. Uh, so I would say that's that's the biggest challenge, and those are the two ways we've we've come across to overcome them.